anyway. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly, also known as Roro and Kids, and this is a knitting and designing podcast from the northeast of England where I talk about everything I've been knitting and designing over the last two weeks. <laughs> this is episode 51. So welcome, thank you so much for joining me. Um, <clears throat> I'm having a morning, I really am having a morning. Um, my youngest son has broke up from school. It is currently the 21st of December, 2023. So my youngest son has broken up from school. He broke up on Tuesday. And I'm trying to keep him entertained so that I can do this. So he's currently playing his Xbox. Um, however, just as I sat down ready to record, he announced on the Echo Dot, can I have a bacon sandwich because I'm hungry? So I had to stop and go make him a bacon sandwich. I can hear him wandering around upstairs. So I'm really conscious of the fact that he's going to just come in and interrupt me. He doesn't know I'm doing this because if he knows that I'm doing this, he will constantly interrupt me. So you probably won't be able to hear, but we currently have a storm blowing through. It's called Storm Pier. Um, and it's really, really windy out there. Um, my cat has been kicking off because he wants to go out, so I've just let him go out. He'll be back in in two minutes when he realises how windy it is. My dog just wants to be stood out in the garden. She just loves rubbish weather. Wind, rain, snow, sleet, anything. She's like, oh, can I go and stand in the garden, please? But the minute it's sunny, she's like, no. I want to go and lay down in the front room. <sighs> so she's bugging me to go out. Anyway, we're not here for any of that. We're here for knitting. I've also got an issue with sun. I'm sorry, there's a lot of glare here. So I'm going to try and stay over this side. Just because I should have been recording ages ago and I'm only just starting. It's one of them. It's one of them. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I had cast these on when you last seen me. Um, I think I'd done, I was on the foot when you last seen me. I'm not 100%. But this is my, my nutcracker socks for my son Rowan. So, a bit of glare. He is seven, so... Titchy. Um, he's a 56 stitch cast on, so they are um, a cuff down. Is that focused? There we go. A cuff down, heel flap and gusset, just vanilla sock. I didn't do anything fancy. It's just I just cast on 56 stitches and, and knitted a basic sock. Um, and then so I've finished the first one, and I'm literally I've just done the heel. I'm just at the gusset for the second one. Um, so I'm using exactly what I use for my own. So this is the new Christmas colourway by West Yorkshire Spinners, which is the Nutcracker. That's it, it's called the Nutcracker. It's a stripy sparkly yarn, it's their Christmas colourway. It's lovely, this is what I've got left and I've got a full adult pair for myself out of it plus these and there's still going to be probably enough left to do another pair of these there's there's just so much in signature four ply um the mini i'm using is a botanical yarn mini can you see that um it just happens to match quite well this was in a winter solstice advent that i won from botanical yarn last year so that's where i'm at i'm gonna get them finished this week and try and wrap them up for christmas he knows i'm making them but it just it's an extra christmas present isn't it um wrap them up for christmas if i can get that done he also wants his elder brother has a um a yoda like a baby yoda like grogu that I made for him um, it, it, I think a couple of years ago now not 100% and he ste my 7 year old steals it off my elder 15 year old all the time like he wants it so I've promised to make him one now my eldest one if I can find a picture I'll put it up but I don't know if I have one but my eldest 
Grogu has like a dark brown jacket, shroud, whatever it is that Grogu wears. Um, he has a dark brown one because that's what he wanted. But I'm going to try and do a more traditional one for traditional. Is it traditional if it's the order? I don't know, but you know what I mean. The more um, canon, the canon Grogu in like a cream shroudy coat, I think. Um, I've got the yarn, I just need to knit it and it's really fast because it's like all super chunky and it's just, it's like this big. So it like, you're done in a, in a night. So I, but I need to get that done because I've promised and promised that I'll make him one and that would be nice for him for Christmas as well. I don't do Christmas knitting. <sighs> Everything I'm showing you is Christmas knitting. I don't do Christmas knitting. Like very, very rare. But I thought he wanted some socks because the last pair of socks I knitted him were too small. So I thought, right, do him a pair of socks. And he's seen them because he's tried them on. Um, but he'll have forgotten. So if I make him them, and then if I make him a Yoda, I'm whispering because he's like literally a couple of doors away. Um, yeah, if I make him a Yoda, he'd be dead happy with that. It shouldn't take long to do. But it's Thursday, and I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is Christmas. But I can finish a pair of did diddy socks and do a, a super chunky order in that time, can't I? Yeah. So they are living in my, one of my, my this is my favourite bag at the minute. This is my Bellica Yarns bag that I got from the North East Yarn Festival, Yarn Show, whatever it was called, I can't remember. But I just love it. I really like Bellica Yarn. Right, so that's those. The other thing, which is also a Christmas knit, but it wasn't intended to be a Christmas knit, to be fair, um, is my mother-in-law's dicky. So, um, my mother-in-law, Bernie, asked me to make her a dicky a few months back, like October-ish time, but she said there was no rush. It's always a dangerous thing to say to me, but she did say there was no rush. Um, oh, I've left that yarn yeah, out. Oh, and I've dropped that on the floor. I'm having an excellent day. It's just, you know, one of the best. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, oh I can't reach the yarn. Come here. Oh, I have not long enough. Anyway, my mother-in-law said to me, She's like a dicky because she has, basically, this is horrible, but basically, she, some of the discs in the back of her neck are crumbling away. And so she has a lot of pain in her neck and her back. And um, there's nothing anyone can do. They're just crumbling away. Uh, so the cold, obviously, if you are of a certain age, like me, you know that the cold makes your bones even worse. Um, so obviously she, she, her neck and back really hurt in the winter and it's getting pretty cold here now so she'd asked me for a dicky back in October but I've had a lot on and haven't been able to but I did start and it's getting to like I said Christmas is Monday so I'm just going to finish it for her for Monday um, and it's pretty much done I've just got a couple of bits to sew up so this is what it actually looks like now which is a bit of a random piece but what I need to do is that's a shoulder there so you sew up the shoulder before you knit the neck so I just need to sew up the other shoulder and then sew up this side and then that obviously folds down like this hang on Ooh. Something fell off in my kitchen. And then, yeah, there is said Dicky. I think she's gonna like it. She likes pink and purple. She particularly likes purple. There's a lot more pink in this than purple, but, and she doesn't mind green, she said. So, I mean, it's not perfect. But um, I'll just I I was kind of trialing it, and I'll make her and I'll make her a few to be honest to help her out. 
Um, oh, there's a marker in there. Um, yeah, I will make her a few to help her out because her neck is bad. But this yarn is the Batik Swirl by Stylecraft. Something just come up on my screen. What's that mean? It's flashing at me. I don't know what it means, so I'm just going to carry on. This is the Batik Swirl from Stylecraft. I got the Lily Pond colourway. So you can see it there. And this is also the pattern that comes with, it's on the back of the label of the Batik Swirl, um, which is the Dicky. And I just think it's lovely. I cannot remember what the yarn um, blend is. I know it's got acrylic in it. I can't remember anything else. And I've lost the label. It's a good job I know what to do. I don't. There's that much stuff around at the minute because of Christmas and there's wrapping. There's other people's wrapping that I've got to do for them. There's my own wrapping. There's just stuff everywhere. So um, I have lost the label. I did have a good look. So this is what I've got left. I will write the blend on the screen. But this is what I've got left. And I've done a few swatches out of this for when I was reviewing it for Unity. So um, Unity Podcast, if you don't know what that is, head search it on YouTube. But that is um, what I've got left. So I think if you just knitted the dicky, you'd probably have double that, which is pretty good. Um, and yeah, I think it's a really nice colour. It's pretty. So that is the batik swirl and the pattern that comes with. So I'm going to get that sewed up sword and uh is that right sword up sewn up sewn up yeah that's right isn't it i'm gonna get it sewn up and um and, and wrap it up for christmas because why not she knows i'm making it but it'll just be nice for, for christmas so that's that one that's living in a bag that i made myself ages ago it's a bit rubbish the only other thing that I've been working on because it's Christmas and I haven't had the chance to wipe my own nose um, is the No Matter What Norm What's it called? Every time. Imagined, imagined Landscapes The Mystery Norm Along I've been working on that So if you're working on it and you're behind um, you might want to look away. I'm not up to date though. I think I'm on day 13, I think. Maybe a little bit more than that. 16 at the most. Definitely 16 at the most. So um, if you're ahead of me, that's fine. But if you're not and you don't want to see, then I would turn away and I'll tell you when to turn back. Um, but this is what I've got so far. Are you going to focus on him? I'll focus on him because he's cute. There we go. So, yeah. So you knit all the little bits separate. His scarf, his flappy scarf is not fastened down. His arms are not fastened down. Um, and then I've also got this bit. That I've just done, which is another, another, well you can see what it is. I don't want to say it in case there's people turning away, but it's another one of these. So whether we, we are making two, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I'm confused. I'm also, I'm not going to lie, right, I haven't made, uh, um, I haven't made Imagine Landscapes norms before. And I love him, I do love him. But I'm a little bit disappointed that he's not a gnome. I kind of wanted the gnome. But at the end of the day, I'll have him and I'll just be able to go back and get some of our other patterns and make a gnome, won't I? So it's no biggie. It's just, I was like, oh, he's not a gnome. But he's cute, isn't he? 
he's got rice in the bottom to weight him down so he stands up so he's got a squidgy bum which I really like and um, I'm not a toy knitter at all <laughs> she says I've just said I'm gonna knit a Yoda I've been knitting this no I'm not a toy knitter though but um but I just really like wanted to join in <laughs> for more I really wanted to join in with the um, discord gang on doing this and I'm glad I did because he has been fun fiddly but fun remember and that's what he is I think I'll call him Fiddle <laughs> but yeah he's cute so there we go that is you can look you can look again now if you are uh, hiding from the imagined landscapes that's it that's all I've been working on not a lot at all um I just haven't had time but <coughs> that wasn't because of the coffee but I have to say, today I've been drinking, um, oh, shut my mug. Stay magical. Today I've been drinking, um, right, let me start from the beginning. So, I have an advent swap with my friend Suzanne who watches the podcast. And, um, she, me and her swap advents each year. And... We put different, we put yarn in obviously, but we also put different bits and bobs in there as well. And she's been, this year, she's been giving me beanies flavoured coffees in a little sachet. Beanies is like a, a flavoured coffee company from around where I live. Um, so she's been putting these different sachets in that were just like fun that she'd found. Um, and I've had like a Christmas pudding flavour and a mince pie flavour and a Yule log flavour. I've still got a peppermint one over there. But today, I tried the gingerbread coffee. And the others have been absolutely delicious. I've really enjoyed them. But this one is just weird. I've like pushed my cup away so I don't drink it, but I keep picking it up. Um, it doesn't have a lot of flavour. But it smells like Chinese food. And I feel like when I'm putting my mouth to it, I feel like I'm drinking like Peking sauce or something. It just really smells like Chinese food. But not in a good way. Like overly scented Chinese food. It's really not good. <laughs> so, so the beanies gingerbread is a thumbs down from me. No, that's not... I mean, I know Chinese food has loads of ginger in it. So that's probably why that that's what I'm getting. But it just... It's got more of a savoury than a sweet ginger smell and it's just, it's re it really smells like Pekin sauce, it's really weird. <laughs> so, no, I don't even know if Pekin sauce has ginger in, maybe I'm picking the wrong sauce, but it really smells like Chinese. Anyway, I don't want to drink Chinese food, so I've moved it further away from me to stop picking it up. Um, I'm going to do the giveaway winner in a minute, but first I want to tell you about um, my lovely friend Ange. I'd met her the other day. I'd gone out for a coffee the other day with Ange. We'd done a bit of Christmas shopping together and everything. And then we swapped some little gifts. And um, mine were pretty rubbish <laughs> because I hadn't had time to sort anything properly. And um, I even left her Christmas card on the set at home. I didn't even bring that with me. Just, I'm a rubbish friend. I am a really rubbish friend. But <laughs> she's she's a wonderful friend. And I wanted to show you what she'd got me. So um, first up, she got me this lovely coaster, which my horrible gingerbread tea has been resting on. <laughs> Suzanne, please don't take offence. Because <laughs> everything else has been absolutely gorgeous. But she got me this. Can you see that? There we go. Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. So I've got a Christmas coaster, which I like to pull out every year. Gorgeous. She got me a lovely new pair of scissors. Oh, the light's getting bad, isn't it? Is that better? I'm going to try them there. And I'm going to try them there and I'll cut out what doesn't work. So she got me a lovely pair of scissors. She got me this welly boot for that wellington boot i should say and inside it's got right how can you see this 
going to show you is it oh right so inside it's got that that says one more row oh gotta find the light now go on camera you can do it there just one more row and then these are you know those stitch markers with the numbers on that you like have hanging down and you you have them all hanging down don't you and then when you're on that row you'd like lift them up to the row that you're on she's popped them in for me so i need to make it but i love that um but she she texted me afterwards and said that two of the numbers are still in her house so i need to get them laid. and then she also gave me these so she gave me this beautiful turquoisey oh this lighting can you see that okay i hope you can so this beautiful turquoisey blue and this one this teal i love this one look at that oh it's so pretty so yeah thank you so much Ange. She's just amazing. Right, I'm going to do the giveaway now. Um, so if you remember last week, last week, last episode, it was my 50th, 50th episode. Hello. And I um, should have had a party at on, shouldn't I? But it was my 50th, 50, 50th, ep oh my God. 50th episode. I can do things better if I sing. Um. It was my 50th episode and I had a giveaway and it was to, I asked you guys, you guys, how, <laughs> the plot is disappearing, it is drifting away. I asked you what you would make if you could make a beaded stitch mark, what you could make. And honest to God, some of the ideas you guys come up with were fantastic. Someone actually said a parmesan. <laughs> which I talked about in my vlogmas. <laughs> so a parmesan is a takeaway food that you can get only in the northeast of England. Um, and apparently there's a shop in Hong Kong that sells them purely because the man who, uh, not designed, created them. I'll sit back here, the light back there. The man who created them uh, was from Middlesbrough which is where I'm from um, he was from Middlesbrough he created the parmesan he opened a shop sold parmesans and then he moved to Hong Kong so he opened a parmesan shop in Hong Kong but apparently Hong Kong and the northeast of England right I was telling you the tale of the parmesan <laughs> but got interrupted by the postman then Rowan then Terry so now I can't remember what I was saying but basically a parmesan is a chicken breast that's been squashed down, um, coated in breadcrumbs, <laughs> deep fried, and then it's got bechamel sauce and melted cheese all over the top of it. They're about this big when they come. It's absolutely delicious, but it is also a heart attack food. Food. It is, um, yeah, they're really bad for you, but they're just so good. Um, <laughs> And then some people get different toppings on. I get um, I get a Hawaiian parmesan, so mine has ham and pineapple on the top. Some people get mushroom parmesan, so it's got mushrooms on top. You can get um, uh, chili parmesan, so they have jalapenos on the top. There's just, there's, yeah. It's lovely, I like them. Um, you can also get pork parmesans, but they don't seem to do them in takeaways anymore. Uh, but when I was I was younger, well, you still can actually you can get them in restaurants and stuff. Like it's a it's a proper thing round here. <laughs> so, and someone said they were going to make a stitch marker in the shape of a parmesan, but I don't think it would work because it would just look like a big blob of orange cheese. So yeah. Anyway, some of your ideas were fantastic. I love them, um, and I'm going to make a note of them all. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to have to move again. I want to make a note of them all and um, and add them to my to-do list of ad of advent. No, <sighs> my brain's gone. Of stitch markers to make 
in the future because I want to extend my range. So yeah, I'm going to add them in. So the prizes to be won was um, two patterns of your choice from moi, um, two stitch markers of your choice also from moi, um, that is me in my glorious French accent. Um, and then, <coughs> excuse me, these yarns, uh, which is the Skein Heroine, um, uh, <coughs> Naturally Dyed, <coughs> oh my God. Naturally Dyed Onion Skin Gold DK yarn. It's um, Shetland DK. It is a rustic yarn, 100% wool from the Shetland sheep grown, spun and dyed in the UK. So it is that and then also this um, sublime baby cashmere merino silk DK in the Tiddles colourway. There is two uh, balls of that. Um, they are 116 metres or 127 yards each. So those are the prizes. I'm now going to draw the winner. Um, I have a YouTube random comment picker on my telephone and everything's loaded up ready to go so we're going to pick a winner oh okay <laughs> so oh that's not going to read that babs james 2539 you are the winner she wrote congrats on 50 episodes i can't believe you told us about the glove down the toilet I laughed out loud. Theon can tell you don't like her. <laughs> and she's acting up just for you, lol. She's a wild Welsh girlie. She's not even Welsh, she's just got a Welsh name. She's just a lunatic. Um, and I do like her, really. Thanks for the giveaway. If I was making a stitch marker, I'd make an axolotl. I'd never know how to say that, axolotl. Because they're so cute. And they are incredibly cute. I did say that I might be able to make the stitch marker in the thing that you choose, an axolotl might be a little bit difficult, but I will see if I can. Otherwise, we will figure something else out. Um, so, Babs James 2539, congratulations. Please get in touch. Um, you can email me at rawrongkids at gmail.com. Do it that way. Um, and yeah that'll be the best way to do it i think so email me there and uh we will swap deets <laughs> swap our details and we'll figure out stitch markers i'll look to see if i can find an ax axolotl i don't even know if i'm saying that right axolotl that's how i always say it i could be totally incorrect um but yeah i'll have a look see if i can find a pattern for one of them who knows um yes so get in touch i will give you until the new year to get in touch because it's very busy um when would my next podcast episode be normally let me see so that's thursday so it should be january the 4th which is kind of doable kids are still off school and i might still be vegging but it's kind of doable I'm going to give you, the next one after that is the 18th, so I'm going to give you till January the 18th to get in touch. Um, after that I will re, will redraw, so till the 18th of January you've got to get in touch with me, email me at rawrawonkids at gmail.com um, and yeah, we will go from there. After the 18th of January it's going to be redrawn, okay? right i think that's it um yeah it is christmas in uh one two one two three four sleeps oh, i've got so much to do so i'm gonna shoot off and and get it all done um and i will see you in the next one have a lovely christmas and new year um I don't think it's going to be after Vlogmas, I'm going to have a break.
because I can I kind of need one so I'm gonna have a break so there'll be no videos until the new year so this is the last podcast well it would be anyway because I've just worked out that I'll record on the fourth I will try to record on the fourth it's not a guarantee just with everything going on um but I will be back in the new year um but yes I am going to I'll finish vlogmas and then I'll be gone for the rest of the year so <laughs> Have a lovely, lovely Christmas New Year and I will see you in 2024 with my Make 9 news because my last Make 9 was abysmal and I need to pull my socks up. Right, I'll see you soon.